Go check these guys out. They're fucking awesome. So I made Mum's Five Spice Ribs. It's a recipe for gold tier members on the uh, recipe vault, chinandchewscookeryschool.com. This is a recipe Mum's done for me for years and is using her own homemade Five Spice. Again, that recipe is up on the recipe vault. And uh, I just wanted to check to see if this would be good enough to pass the test. Had a good sniff, had a good bite. Let's see. I think she's going to like it. Yeah. Yeah, she, she likes it. As you can tell, I didn't eat a single one of those. That's all mum. And because it's Thursday and none of us felt like cooking, we ordered a Indian takeaway and it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't as best as it's ever been, but it was all right. And the beers obviously helped. Then uh, next day I made a gammon with cider. I might share this recipe on Chin Cooks, I don't know. It's, it's nice, it's, it's comfort food. Basically, you just have a load of gammon like that, and then we just put it in bread with cheese and multi seeded, multi grained mustard. Look at that. What the fuck is going on there? So I've turned it on and off again and still doing it. No idea. Just filming a TikTok at the moment because, uh, well, hip. Uh, donated loads, well, I'd say donated, sent me a load of sauces. When I say a load, I think there was about 12 boxes with 12 different, so 12 different things with 12 items in each box. So this is a pretty fucking cool. This is the number one brand in um, Singapore as well. So it's good stuff. And I'm just making TikToks on it to say thanks to them really for sending it. Also, I might do a couple of giveaways on uh, the TikTok for that as well. But yeah. A little behind the scenes thing for you here because these i defrosted them last night because we had them for dinner um they're actually really dry next day they're shite we put them i literally nearly vac basically vac packed them um they're obviously well they're from bookers and they're designed to be used that day but they're so dry that I, they, they've fallen apart in half so i'm having to re what's the word defrost um, fresh ones I don't want to throw this away, so I'm probably going to blend it up and make it into breadcrumbs or something, but fucking annoying. And here's a quick version of the video. That's just melted cheese, literally cheddar and red Leicester to make it look like that American orange cheese they've had. Melted it in a microwave, poured it on, then added some jalapenos, you know, because they're fucking awesome. And then a little bit of uh, crispy onions and then finished it with the sriracha all over the top. And they were fucking delicious, if I'm honest with you. You really need to give these a go. They're, they're really good. The sauce isn't really nice. So I just wanted to really have a go at Wix. I've just basically had to refund someone for a, a cookery course. It's because their email system is so shit. It, like literally 50% of the time it doesn't get to them. And I've had to go look because this is such an issue with your account. If you purchase anything in the future, I'm just going to have to automatically refund it because it's making me look incompetent as well. It's like I've sent, and the thing is, I send him all the proof that it's been sent because we get notifications. If it doesn't send, it Wix literally says it hasn't sent. This guy works in IT, so he's know what he's doing. So it's not an issue his end. It's an issue issue my end, but it's not telling me there's an issue. Like, why the fuck can't you get something like that right? Like, I know I am no technician or into anything like that, so I don't really know the ins and outs of it. And surely there, yeah, there, there could be more difficult, but I mean, there's cheaper platforms out there that don't have this fucking issue. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, it's costing me money, and speaking of fucking websites, the other one's still not fucking done. That was meant, that was meant to be fucking done... In February 2021. 2020, not 2021. This February will be two years. And I made up my own fucking vault, my own like member access area, which is essentially what I was paying this guy to do. And I just said, refund me, and he won't fucking refund me. Oh, fuck. And he's just like, no, I'm going to get you the site now. So I don't fucking need it. Because what I originally asked you to do and then I calmed down and went okay yeah I, I would like a search bar but I think I got a search bar on there though hold on I'll check I did put this on the other day and I tried it and it didn't work ah oh, it works fuck yeah it works 
I don't even need a fucking search bar. I just need my fucking refund, you twat. What a fucking dickhead. I'm really happy that worked, because the other day it was going, loading the whatever. <laughs> loading the whatever. So now I can actually go through this website and streamline it a bit better. Oh, that's really exciting. I've made up about that. Fuck you, web guy. <laughs> crumpets. Just crumpets. So, listen, really, around. This is more of a, I don't know, an irritation. And the thing is, I could rant about it, but I don't want to because I'm pretty sure that some of you out there who watch this, this is going to apply to, so I don't mean anything by it. But it's, for example, my products, okay? I send them all out and they've all got instructions on how to use them on the back. And then people go on, like, let's say, Chinese Takeaway Secrets and they just ask how to use it or do you use it and then add all the extra like you do in the Bible. If you had to do that, I would have put it in instructions on the back. Like, also, a lot of people aren't, aren't even reading them, which irritates me no end because it's taken you more time to figure out what's going on backwards and forwards wasting our time and your time when all you had to do was have the packet and turn it over. Like, it's just, it's really frustrating because it's literally taken up eating hours of my day when all this stuff is easily avoidable. And if this applies to you, I'm sorry if I find you, but honestly, if you ever buy any product from us, check the labels first and then you will know what to do because I don't send any products out I don't have instructions on, okay? And that's it for today. Thank you very much to you patrons out there for supporting the channel. You have no idea what that means. You've really fucking helped over this sort of last two years. Trying to get more content out there now. I've got a bit more time, so yeah. And there's going to be more Patreon-only content as well, so check that out.